If you have followed my channel for any length of time, you may remember this story. It's a story about a Minnesota mom who took her husband and two children to a hotel for a staycation just to get away from the house just for a little bit, where she was lurking about and found uh, some boys, young boys in a hot tub. She crawled into that hot tub and was like, mm, I'm a have that. She then told the boys to go to their uh, hotel room where she would uh, do things. This is the update to that story. It happened, I guess, back in May, apparently, although I remember it being far farther back, but oh well. Then the second update we have is another story that I have covered. Actually, this one quite a bit. This one is about the Wisconsin female elementary school teacher who is, um, well, she, she was getting it on with an 11-year-old boy. She was about to get married, and then her, her uh, fiancé was like, dude, you, you cheated on me with a little boy. That's so messed up. Well, she is in a bunch of trouble, and uh, there's updates to that case as well. So stay tuned for that. We're going to cover this hot tub one first. If you're interested in seeing the original video, it actually got quite a bunch of views on YouTube. I was actually rather um, impressed. Well, it's been taken down from YouTube. Uh, do find it on Rumble if you're interested in that. Um, right, so Minnesota mom admits to sexually abusing two teen hockey players she met in hot tub during a staycation. So a um, Minnesota mother of two admitted to sexually abusing a pair of 15-year-old hockey players whom she met in a hotel hot tub during a staycation with her husband and her children. These stories always make me think. They always make me wonder about the other family members. Like, what is this husband saying? What, is, like, what does he think about this? What do the, what do the kids think? My, my, my mom cheated on my dad with kids that are as old as me? What? Like, talk about throwing a grenade into your family. Like, you, you blow the whole thing up. I mean, unless this husband is a real cock and was like, I'll stay with you no matter what. I'm, I mean, you guys probably wouldn't do that. I most certainly wouldn't do that. Allison Sherardin, 39, uh, she pleaded guilty on Friday to third-degree criminal sexual assault after she pleaded not guilty to the disturbing allegations in May. So she, she finally was like, oh, you got me. I did it. Gerardin uh, was at the hotel with her spouse and two children on January 14th. See, I knew, I thought I remember, I knew it was, it was farther back than, than May. Um, anyways, um, January 14th, when she spotted the two teen athletes who were traveling from Colorado with their team and struck up a conversation with them according to a complaint obtained by Long Crime. While she was with the boys in the hot tub, her husband yelled, If you don't come upstairs, our relationship is over, the complainant states. See, this is new information that we didn't have when I first covered the story. Sherardin exchanged contact information with the victims and later texted one of them to see if uh, she could come to his room after getting into a fight with her husband. She allegedly told the boys they were young enough to be her kids, but then pressured them into sex acts with her while a third boy watched, according to the complaint. Now, maybe this husband is a dick. Maybe. Maybe he's just a real prick. I doesn't give this lady any right to go rape some kids. You know what I mean? You already have a 38-year-old woman, a female, in your bed. Don't you want to do more, she said, according to one of the victims. Victim one described feeling stuck in the moment and did not know how to say no. The complaint reads, he said that in his head. His response was not really, but he responded by saying sure, though he wasn't totally on board with it. Because if you're a young boy, you're scared. You're scared of it. These are things that maybe you haven't really done before, or maybe they're things that you've you've done with somebody your own age and you both did them badly. And then, you know, 
you have a person of trust and authority or whoever or of a much older age and then you're it's like a, it's, it's like that wild power imbalance right and then uh yeah you're kind of scared i mean it's one thing for a man who's well past his age to 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 think back going oh if i was a 15 year old i sure would oh my god well yeah you're looking back at that when you know in some kind of hindsight with all of your life experience maybe maybe you're in a dead bedroom and you're just so horny but this kid doesn't have that hindsight Following the encounter, Sherardin tracked the boys down to a rink where they were playing a game the next day. So she sexually assaults the boys and then stalks them. That is crazy. The victim one says they all started getting nervous. And when he was shaking on the bench at one point because he wanted to leave what happened the night before in the past and she was trying to follow them. It was really creepy, the complaint stated. Once the boys traveled back home, she reached out to both of them. She asked one of them not to tell authorities and apologized uh, to the other boy f- uh, for going to their room during the exchange of messages. During an interview with investigator Sherardin fessed up to joining three boys in a hotel room and having sexual contact with two of them. While she told police uh, she asked if anyone had a condom, she claimed she would not have gone through with the sex act, according to the complaint. I think you and I both know, dear viewer, she would have. She would have likely ridden, ridden all three of them, if she could have, possibly at the same time. Like, why, why stop there? You've, you've already crossed the Rubicon. You've probably already crossed a few Rubicons. I think I, I just, things were starting to progress. And, um... I think I thought about it for a moment, and then I was just like, yeah, no, that's not. And I think at that point, it was pretty evident that uh, victim one was kind of uncomfortable, according to the complaint from Law and Crime. In exchange for her guilty plea, another criminal count was dismissed, and prosecutors agreed to uh, jail time of no more than eight months. She must also register as a predatory sex offender. Her sentencing is set. For January 8th, 2025, according to CBS News, Minnesota. Well, that's, I'm going to guess, if her husband was threatening to end their relationship over her being in, in hot tubs with young boys, I'm willing to bet that he's not this cuck. He's not that kind of man that's a cuck. He's probably going to be like, listen, listen, lady, get out of my house. Now, secondly, we have here um, the case of Madison Bergman. So uh, staggering numbers of explicit text messages. Wisconsin female elementary school teacher 24 is accused of exchanging with boy aged 11. In the, in the quick rundown, she uh, was a teacher. Uh, this is an 11-year-old boy in her class. And she was like obsessed with him and would send him text messages. She even had him up against um, like... She moved his desk really close to her and so she could fondle him during during class where nobody could could see. Uh, Everyone was like, yeah, the way that she moved his desk, we just assumed that he was a bad kid, which is it's unfair for that kid. And um, the parents found out because they like found some of the text messages and they were like, what the shit? The staggering number of explicit text messages a Wisconsin elementary school teacher is accused of exchanging with an 11-year-old boy has been revealed. Madison Bergman, 24, sent an astonishing 33,000 racy text messages to the young boy earlier this year. School resource officer Tracy Hall testified at a prelim hearing in uh, St. Croix County Circuit Court on Monday, according to the New York Post. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't I don't actually know how long it takes me to send 33,000 text messages to my wife who I'm on a you know regular contact with. She's messaged me twice so far just making this video. Those text messages become more sexually explicit as Bergman and the students' conversations continued, eventually becoming so X-rated that the teacher bowed her head in shame when they were read in court. Remember, so X-rated, and the kid's 11. An 11-year-old boy. 
Bergman, who was dumped by her fiance for her repulsive actions, thank goodness, is now facing 10 felony charges, including first degree child sexual assault, child enticement, and multiple counts of sexual misconduct. But her attorneys, they have argued that the charges should be dropped. In fact, in, in the previous update, they basically went in and they demanded all their shit to go away. They're like, no, so what? Doesn't matter, they're just text messages. They're just words. It doesn't matter. They're just words. We demand this shit to be dropped. The judge was like, um, how about no? So, but her attorneys have argued that the charges should be dropped, claiming that the text messages weren't specific enough to prove that they touch each other. A Wisconsin judge heard arguments to determine whether to drop those charges on Monday when prosecutor Carl Anderson read some of the disturbing text messages aloud. He noted that the text messages between Bergman and her student became even more explicit on April 27th. There's a conversation about the victim being hard. And I don't imagine that's about him living a hard knock life. And if she felt that during her hug, so obviously this is an 11-year-old boy having an erection, which is just uh, disgusting. But it, but it perish the thought. Oh my God, stop thinking about it. It's awful. Did she acknowledge that, sh that she felt it? Anderson asked Hall as, as she took the stand. Yes, the school resource officer testified, according to the Post. What else did she say? The prosecutor pressed. This is... This is so bad that she would wear dresses more often because she liked how he touched her leg, Hall replied. Does Miss Bergman ever allude to be sexually aroused in the text messages? The prosecutor continued. She talked about being wet in the classroom, Hall admitted as Bergman looked downwards. Yes, so wet that she would slide off of her chair, leaving some sort of snail trail. So wet and aroused because she has the attention of an 11-year-old boy. Good Lord. In other text messages uh, that were previously revealed in court, the boy allegedly wrote, You were touching my chest a lot. In another, Bergman allegedly told the boy, I love having my hand on your chest. I could feel your heart beating so much. Ha ha ha! The victim later reportedly replied, Ha ha! It was beating so fast. I was so surprised, and I loved it, because you just kept kissing me. This is disgusting. This is a grown-ass woman and an 11-year-old boy. At another time, Bergman allegedly wrote, when everyone was cleaning after reading, because, because he's so little, he has reading time. Good God, at that age, you still basically have a goddamn cubby. Oh, go take your stuff out of your cubby. I was standing at, fr at, at the front, and you were too. I touched your chest, she allegedly wrote. These are stupid fucking messages, by the way. These are dumb messages. When I grabbed your shirt and I pulled you into me, oh my goodness, I wanted to lick your abs. They're narrating their crimes. Don't narrate your crimes. Don't do crime, first of all. Just don't do it. If you have to do the crime, don't record yourself doing crime. Also, don't narrate your goddamn crimes. Maybe also don't talk to the cops. Just saying. But Bergman's defense attorneys have insisted she is being overcharged for her alleged actions, arguing in court that the text messages alone are not sufficient to support five charges of sexual misconduct. There is never any language where she says, I want to have sex with you, or that he says, I want you to do this with me, her attorney had said. They talked about kissing and lips and cheeks and touching legs. They also talked about some sexual issues, obviously about a woman's body and a man's body. Way to play that down, buddy. Sure, you're doing your, the best you can for your client, but Jesus Christ, that's got to be hard to sleep sometimes. But nothing like, this is what I want you to do to me, or this is what I'll do to you. A judge, however, found that the text messages were admissible as evidence of sexual misconduct. Goes on to say, it's clear to me that the state has met its burden to find probable cause that the defendant has committed a felony. The judge ruled, clearly there was probable cause presented by the detective today. The case is bound to go for trial.
Bregman's alleged uh, sexual misconduct first came to light April 29th after the young boy's mother overheard a phone call between the teacher and the victim. His father then confiscated his phone and discovered the sexually charged messages. He allegedly saw a message in which Bergman told the boy she wanted to just grab his face and push him to the floor and make out with him, according to the criminal complaint. And so then the child's father handed the messages over to law enforcement and uh, the school administrators. Um, like, like, here's another one. I almost kissed you when you were on the ground today, but I got distracted by your stomach what i think probably the craziest part about this is then this little nugget here so they would also write love notes back and forth to one another because you know that's that's what a grown-up does to children apparently um don't 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 leave evidence of your crimes folks also don't diddle kids that's probably probably the biggest thing but she wrote in one of her letters, one of my cousins is in the fifth grade, and I can't imagine a man talking to her how we talk. I know we have a special relationship, and I do love you more than anyone in the world, but I have to be the adult here and stop. She never did. She just carried it on further and further until she was actually finally caught. But knowing that she has a cousin who's the same age and thinking, well, if her male teacher talked to her like that, it would be awful. And having that sort of like that perspective being like, I'm doing the same thing that if, 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 if that was being done to someone of my family, I would be really upset with it. She was like, almost there, almost there, lady, just go a little further. Just almost that she's no, she was like, no, I'm just going to continue to, continue to diddle this kid anyways that's uh that is the update um it's gonna it's gonna go to trial they tried they tried to get the evidence thrown out and uh it didn't work it didn't work um the, the text messages were staggering and they were disgusting and so uh this one goes to trial as well so likely there will be more updates on madison bergman thank you for watching take care bye for now <laughs>